Hey y'all, I'm Stacy. And I'm Tom with RV Texas, y'all. Today we're going to talk about 10 reasons why we chose the 2017 Tiffin Breeze 31BR to be our full-time home out on the road as we downsize to full-time RV life. Yep, so stay tuned and we'll give you those top 10 reasons. <laughs> Okay, um, in no particular order, we thought we would start with the, the first thing is we wanted a diesel pusher. And obviously we had a diesel pusher before. We enjoyed the power of the diesel pusher. We wanted to be able to go into the mountains and, and not have any issue. Um, I like the air suspension of a diesel pusher. So, you know, we that was a major criteria. So getting this coach, it was all built on the power glide chassis uh, with a diesel engine, diesel pusher, diesel engine in the back. So that was, that checked one of those major boxes for me. The next biggest thing for us was, yes, we wanted to stay with a diesel pusher, but we wanted to go smaller than what we had. So for us, size matters. Um, <laughs> We had a 35-foot diesel pusher before, which was small by a lot of diesel pusher standards. You'll have them up to 45 feet long. But for us, we wanted to go as small as we could and still stay with the diesel pusher so that we would have the maximum number of camping options in things like state parks and maybe some national parks, things where your campsites tend to be a little smaller and or the roads tend to be a little bit more narrow or things like that. Yeah, so, and that also, when you said size, it's not just in length. Uh, in this coach, it's not as tall and it's not as wide. And right. the, the width of this is legal in all 50 states. So that's a good thing too. We don't have yeah. to worry about that. Um, the, the length of this coach, we have the 31 BR, so it's 31 and a half feet long. And um, yeah, so you know, we even, you know, at some of the state parks where things tend to be a little more um, tight or, you know, it may be harder to level because if you've got a bigger coach, you're working on more unlevel grounds. Um, this one was actually easier this time um, when we went, when we came to a park that is known for kind of its unlevel sites. So. And it is the shortest diesel pusher that we know of on the market today and all of our research as far as that it's been manufactured in the last few years. And there's been some smaller ones in the past. Yep. Uh, Tiffin made a 28 BR before. They no longer make that, uh, right. but they, there are some out there available still. Um, Newmar made a shorter diesel pusher at one time also. And, so and we actually considered that as well. And those were really cool looking. Um, the classic new airs, basically, made in the early 2000s are super cool looking. Yep. And uh, we looked at some of those. Um, but Just didn't have the exterior storage. That's right. Yeah. And that's another big thing for us, was the exterior storage. Yeah, it, and for me, that's a huge thing because we, uh, I mean, I cook outside. We cook most of our meals outside. I mean, we we love the inside of this coach, but we bought this coach more for the outside because we're living on the outside. That's why we're doing this. We're, we're wanting to go places where we live on the outside. We've been living on the inside for a long time. Right. The inside of a bunch of walls. And that's our adventure needs to be on the outside. So with outside storage gives us room to take our all the different types of cooking stuff that we want to take and our chairs that we want to sit on and and a possible another cooler on the outside that we can mm -hmm. put some more stuff so yeah that exterior storage is huge um, so another thing a fourth thing is tiffin now <laughs> And that's no small thing. That's I no mean, small thing at all. We, we own a family business. Um, we, we love to deal with family businesses. We bought this RV from a family business. Absolutely. One that 
we've not only met the founder, I mean, we've met with him several times, Bob Tiffin. And most of you probably out there have heard of Tiffin Motorhomes. If you've ever looked into a motorhome at all, if you've ever looked at any forms and stuff, I think you're going to find a lot of good stuff about the Tiffin family and Bob Tiffin. And he's he was wonderful when we met him in the RV shows and talked to him for a long time. I even called him one time up at Red Bay. Uh, they're in Red Bay, Alabama. And I called up there, I left a message for him, and within 15 minutes, he called me back. And I, I mean, that's... And it's the owner of the company. That's the owner. Of the, that's the founder that's of the, the company. That's the founder of the company, right. Yeah, and, and his name is, is uh, huge in the industry, and he backs up his products. So we really, it, it wasn't like we had to buy a Tiffin, but boy, we were proud to buy a Tiffin, let me tell you, because it's neat when you can buy from a small business like that. And, and when we say small business, heck, they, they employ almost everybody in Red Bay, <laughs> yeah, Alabama. I don't know, but they, it's just a lot of people. Yeah, they employ a lot of people. And, and um, so we felt real comfortable about the buying from Tiffin. Uh, because because they have just a great reputation and it's and it's good to buy from a small business. I agree. So you know we talked a little bit about the outside storage, but you know the inside of this, even though it's only 31 and a half feet long, and the body when it's closed up and the slides are in, is not as wide as the average diesel pusher. When it's parked and the slides are out, you have opposing slides in the living room. And so, and again, this is a 2017 Tiffin Breeze 31BR. And Tiffin's made some changes over the year to the Breeze line. But what our model has opposing slides in the living area. And I mean, you could have a dance in here, literally. Absolutely. And my mom has. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, we were, when we were camping this weekend, we were here for a family reunion. We had nine adult family members sitting comfortably in here visiting last night. And it was great. We could have fit a few more. Yeah, we could have, and everybody was comfortable. And I, I mean, I was shocked. I, after everybody left here, I was like, wait a minute, how many did we just have in here? I mean, we all sat in here and talked for 45 minutes to an hour. Everybody was comfortable. We could not have done that in our coach before this, the Palazzo, because it doesn't have opposing sides. So it's a lot narrower. We, we couldn't have, eased, we couldn't have, comfortably fit that many people. Right. No, we, we just couldn't have done it. Right. So if you're looking for something that has a lot of interior living space, whatever you're looking at, look at look at opposing slides because it we've had both. We've had a single slide and we've had opposing slides. It really makes a big difference. I, I will say there is a small drawback to it. And the, the, the small drawback is on your camping side, when you're trying to get into your base storage, it is a little bit tough to get in there because you have the slide above your head. I, so that is and true. that is a little bit of a drawback, but for the space we gain in here, I mean, it's worth it. I'll just watch my head when I get <laughs> stuff out of the underbay. And I haven't hit it yet, believe it or not, but I'm sure it's going to happen. But, <laughs> but it's still, it's worth it. Because when we're in here, especially on those rainy days when we're full-timing, uh, it's going to be nice to have a little extra room. That's in true. Here. So since we're inside the coach right now, one thing I want to talk about is <laughs> the ACs. Now, in our other coach, this was the thing I probably hated the most, was the ACs were loud. Well, and you know, a lot of the air conditioning systems in RVs, you've got the blower directly in the in the roof right above your head right. in the ceiling and you can see it it's right there the ac unit is set down in the ceiling and and it's right there and even a lot we had ducted air conditioning and we still had that in the old motorhome right right and <clears throat> the stuff and you'll see it there's no you can't see the ac units and so there's a buffer in there. this one that's right yeah and it's a lot quieter. In I fact, mean, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. This is the first time we filmed inside here. Yeah, the ACs are on. Yeah. I mean, it's 100 degrees outside. <laughs> well, not right now. It's at night. It's probably 90 degrees outside, but the ACs are on. 
So it'll be interesting to see if you can hear them here. Yes. Uh, in the old RV, you definitely would have heard them. We, well, we, we could not, you know, really do a video inside with the air conditioning running. Not during the summer. And, and our son, when we'd go down the road, he was trying to play video games or watch a movie. He couldn't even hear, you know, the AC above. He could not hear. In our bedroom, we'd try to watch TV at night if the AC was on. We couldn't hear the TV. And even in the living room in the old one. Yeah, even in the living room. But so, this one, it's not a problem at all. The nope. air conditionings are so quiet, and I think it's because they are up above. We've got a buffer between our ceiling and where the blower units actually are. Yeah. And so the way that Tiffin has done it in this coach is one side of the coach is uh, the air intake, and the other side is where it blows the air out onto you. So it's a constant rotation of air, but none of it is directly above your head, you know, as far as the operations of the air conditioning. Yeah, so it really makes a huge herself. difference yes. as far as the sound and the, yeah, and the so level of noise. Big plus up on the AC. And it's the quieter quiet. on the outside too. If you're standing outside, I don't hear the air conditioning as huh. much. I haven't really which is noticed that one. Maybe Disclaimer that's just my, I'm not sure. It might just be Maybe it's just my, yeah, that, maybe that's how I'm seeing it. But <laughs> it is quieter for sure. So we really like that. Absolutely. So you have the, the kitchen. Oh, yes, the kitchen. That is one of the things I really like best. When I thought, okay, we were going to a smaller coach. We knew we wanted to go to a smaller coach. We knew that with that, we were gonna have to make some, some, some adjustments and we were gonna have to give a few things up. And I thought for sure that that was gonna come in the kitchen area. But our kitchen in this 31BR is actually more than adequate. It's got a lot of workspace, it's Corian countertops, it still has a three burner cooktop and a two bowl stainless steel sink and plenty of room for the coffee maker, the coffee grinder, you know, the dish rack, anything else that we need to put up there. Yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, and as far as the storage, the cabinetry, when we were first moving in, if you've seen our video about when we picked up this coach, there's a <laughs> clip in there where we've got everything we're pulling over and there's just stuff everywhere. And I thought, oh my gosh, this stuff is not gonna fit. We have room left over right now that we're trying to figure out what should we put in there because now we're not packed for full time quite yet. So that will change, I'm no, sure. No, but we were but, packed pretty heavily this weekend because we came for six days, basically. and With my mom. So we have her stuff, too. Right. And grocery for three. Right. So, I mean, we're packed pretty full and we've had no issues in the kitchen at all. And in fact, Stacy and her mom have both been in the kitchen doing things at the same time, so there's even room for two people to move around. Yeah, it's really been a nice surprise, and it's really something that I like a lot about this particular floor plan. It's really laid out well. I feel like it's really efficient. Yeah. Well, we'll keep moving back then from there into the bedroom. This plan from Tiffin the, it was a new plan in 2017, and it had a full um, closet closet okay. in the back. So that gives you a lot more storage options. Um, some previous breezes that we saw, some older model breezes, didn't have that in the back. The bed was actually before it was facing the front of the actually, coach. Actually, I'm pretty sure that this was the very first breeze that had a rear closet. Well, it's a great addition. So yeah. folks at Tiffin, thank you very much. Big that thumbs is, up. That is a great addition. Yeah, that, that back closet adds so much storage capabilities. Uh, it really was a game changer for us in looking at the breeze. Yeah, because absolutely. We really felt like it was uh, allows us to bring, again, more things, even if there's some small kitchen items or something that we need to just carry or, or off-season items or camera equipment or whatever, we have a place to put them in that back closet. So that's a great addition. Yeah, it was a good addition. Um, one other thing that we loved, and we do love, didn't loved, we <laughs> love, is smart TVs. We watch this, a lot of YouTube, oh, believe it or man. not. Oh, <laughs> man. And this coach has smart TVs. And if people don't know what smart TVs are, they're TVs that you can connect to the Internet. Um, so we can watch YouTube on uh, at least our midship TV. 
um, mm -hmm. and the TV in the bedroom is also a smart TV. So uh, we have a uh, hotspot. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Technomadia, shout out to them. Mm -hmm. um, we they did a video on this hotspot, mm -hmm. and uh, we could probably put a link to that video down below in case it'll help somebody else. But it really helped us. Mm -hmm. And right after we got this coach, we thought. Well, let's try it. We realized it was a smart TV, and we tried it, and we were watching YouTube the first night we had this coach. Yeah, we were somewhere where we didn't have any TV signal, you know. Uh, uh, we didn't, I think we had maybe had one channel, and so we thought, you know what, we're not really interested in that. Let's try out the hotspot and the smart TV and see how it works, and we did. We watched, we watched YouTube, which... That's what we like to watch anyway when we're watching TV, typically, so... Well, that's how we bought this coach. We found it on YouTube. Without, I mean, I know we've said it before, but we can't say it enough. <laughs> we were just watching YouTube, and we found this coach. You never know what you're going to find on YouTube. No, nope. I mean, so many how-tos <laughs> to everything, and, and it's wonderful, and we're very blessed. Um, well, that brings us really, I think, to the last thing. And that last thing is the deal up for this coach up at Mount Comfort RV. The, just the things that came with this particular coach, the extras this coach had, the, the financial package that Mount Comfort put forth to us that, that, I mean, we just felt like we couldn't pass it up. Well, you know, this is the first pre-owned motorhome, pre-owned RV that we've bought. This is our fourth RV. We've always bought new. Uh, we've had different makes and models, different sizes, different styles, uh, bumper pull, gas motorhome, diesel motorhome. So uh, this was the first time that we bought a pre-owned coach. And you know, we, when we found it, we, were, we had very specific criteria on what we were looking for. And when we found it on YouTube, we yeah. saw Chris Anderson's video at Mount Comfort RV and it just, grabbed us right away and we knew based on that this really looked like it was going to be the perfect coach for us but that's 1100 miles away from us y'all right. so so we had to really feel like we were getting a, a solid deal because we wanted if we could find the quality used one like we did we were saving the uh, some depreciation and right. and everybody knows these things depreciate right when you drive them off the lot and so in trading in our other one, we really needed a good used coach if we could and save that depreciation. And when we saw this video, you know, we really wondered if we were still going to get that good of a deal. I mean, this one was almost brand new. Um, so we still couldn't get our hopes high until we talked to Mount Comfort to see was it too good to be true? You know, were they going to try to sell this like a brand new unit? Which, you know, if you look at pricing online, sometimes you'll say, well, how are they going to sell it for that? You know, that's almost what a new one sells for. So I was a little worried about that. But I got to say, right away, they shot us straight. I mean, shot us straight, shot us a great deal. And the whole package had to work out. We got a good trade on our uh, motorhome. And, you know, it was just... <laughs> It was it was too good to be true almost. I mean, we but were, it was true. It was true, and and this one had so this was one of the models that we had looked at that we were really interested in. Um, it had they had ordered it with all the features that we were interested in, and the previous owner had added other things like solar, like uh, the Wi-Fi booster and the cell phone booster and the propane quick connects. Oh yeah, things that we love. wanted to add anyway yeah, so it was really uh, amazing you yeah, know to it, find this it one. was amazing and even after we saw the deal we still did our due diligence and over the next few days we researched and researched and researched to see if there was anything close to it anywhere in Texas anywhere closer because that was a long ways and we couldn't find it we definitely couldn't find it. It was a great deal. Um, we even considered still buying new, and but we still we just couldn't touch it. I mean, there was mm -hmm. nothing out there that had near the value 
that were that we were willing to buy for sure and well you know sometimes you just find that RV and you just know it's the right one for you and that's really what it come down came down to maybe for that's us. the reason why we watched the video four or five times <laughs> right when we saw it his view counts really high because of us because we watched that video a lot <laughs> yeah. And, yeah we did we really so, did so, you know, that's one thing to consider, too. When you're looking at RVs and you're trying to figure out what's right for you, is there a perfect rig out there? Maybe, maybe not. Sometimes it takes a lot of looking, a lot of searching, a lot of buying other things even to determine what's right for you and what's going to work for you and your family. Um, but when you find it, you just, you know, it works out great. And, and we really got lucky on this one. It's like that shoe that fits perfectly. When you put it on the first time, and it's like, wow. Well, this RV, RV was like that shoe that fits perfectly. I mean, as soon as we stepped foot in this, it was home. It was. I mean, there, he's right. There's no doubt about it. And I know a lot of folks have commented. They've seen the video that Chris put out uh, that tours this RV. Yep. They saw the video we put out about you know, going and picking it up. And a lot of people have said, wow, you're really lucky to have found that coach. And I absolutely agree. Yeah. But there's a lot of good stuff out there. Yeah. And you just have to really, you know, pay attention and do your research. Watch watch YouTube tours because yeah. you never know what's going to come up. Scour the internet. Go to, go to RV shows. The RV shows are so helpful. You know, they even really if are. you're not going to buy at an RV show, it is good to see what you like or what you may want you know, some different things that are out there. Because a lot of times, new things are coming out all the time. And uh, the, I know they help us. We, I, we're we still going to go to RV shows. We still love RV shows. I mean, we're not looking to buy anytime soon. Uh, but we love going to RV shows. And well, you know, and when you, when you are looking, though, if you go to an RV show, don't just walk in and out, walk in and out, walk in and out, and spend your whole day walking in and out. When you kind of narrow down what you might be interested in, it's okay to sit down inside and just sit in it for a oh, while. Absolutely. And feel, you know, feel see what it feels like to you and how, you know, how does your family feel, you know, sitting inside this particular RV and just, you know, relax a little bit and stand in the shower. Absolutely. See sit how on that the toilet. Feels, sit on the toilet. <laughs> see if you have knee room and stuff in there. You know, all that's very important. But that, you know, all of these reasons are why we picked this particular coach and why it's right for us. It's not going to be right for everybody. Nope. Some folks are going to want a much bigger coach. Some, some folks are going to think at 31 and a half feet, we're way too big, you know. So you got to know what's right for you. Do your research. Go and check things out. Visit dealerships. Visit RV shows. Talk to people that have them. That's one of the things that we have really learned a lot about. We've talked to a lot of people that we've met in campgrounds and RV parks about their different models, you know, and especially if they had a diesel motor home that was within a certain range of size, you know, that we would consider. We always tried to meet those folks and ask them about their experience with their motor home because you can learn so much about the companies, how those companies support their, their customers, the quality of the build, how the motor home is held up, the floor plans and all of that from the people who already own them. That's right. So, you know, stick with us. We're going to be sharing our experience with our Tiffin Breeze 31BR as we uh, travel. And we'll certainly, you know, share those experiences with you. Yeah, and in the comments below, let us know what you travel in. Or what, I'd love to know, Even yes. your part-time coach. I mean, what, what, it, what are you traveling in? What makes you happy when you leave the sticks and bricks or one that you're living in now? What, what are you living in? And, and what, you know, what do you like about that particular coach? Why yeah. is it right for you? I'd love to know that because, you know, it's different for everybody. So please, yes, leave us a comment and let us know. And uh, in the meantime, I guess uh, we will see you next time. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join us on our journey. We're in the process hit of going like. full time. We're also sharing our campground yes. videos and cook camp cooking videos and vlog style videos. And, yep. you know, we're doing a little, a, a lot of different things here. So. Uh, if you know check out our our playlists and see if there's something that interests you and if there is please hit subscribe and join us on this journey until next time y'all safe travels and happy camping bye, bye.